In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply themes dynamically, and I'm sure this is what you've been waiting for. And um, let's get right into it. Um, because I'm going to be using the scheme file to control the look and feel of the uh, server controls and the style sheet to control the looks and feel of the um, HTML tag. So I'm going to remove this input and uh, quickly show you how to use it to modify the H uh, some HTML control. So I'm just going to use it with the um, H1 tag. So I'm going to change the color of the H1 tag to uh, let's change it to blue because this is the blue theme. And um, I will change the I will add a border at the bottom, uh, which I want it to be black. Uh, I want it to be uh, double two pixel on black. So just make sure you <laughs> you're learning as we go along. What else do we see it change? Oh, okay. What about the font size? The font size. Uh, let's put that to be twenty pixel. Okay. So. Uh, that's it. So right now, as you can see, there's nothing that's going to modify the uh, uh, the server controls from here. So that will be for the blue. So let me copy this as well because I'm going to create um, one for the green theme as well. So inside the green theme, let's add a new item for the and it's going to be style sheet. Um, let's leave the default name to and paste the code in here. But here we have to change uh, the green theme. I want that one to be what can we put uh, yellow the background how many to be yellow sorry I can never type I told you uh, <clears throat> so the H1 will be green in color and the uh, let's leave this one as it is so now we have two style sheet and uh, two style sheet and two skin files so now how do we apply this dynamically to our application but uh, also you have to remember that uh, because because um, let me delete that um, now we have the blue theme at the top because now I'm applying this blue theme so what can we do we can just say uh, h1 tag let's see how our h1 tag is getting along we can say this is the blue theme because the blue theme is being applied at the top so if we take a look um, we should see that the blue theme is being applied but you have to remember that I did not have the let's see before I talk here yeah, as you can see our CSS style has been applied our CSS style which is the silver color background the head one which shows in blue and the line also the uh, um, the button and the text box also has been applied with the skin file so you have to remember that I did not link the style sheet inside the head tag. Remember in the last video I actually linked it but because there's because we actually applying a theme and I was and our um CSS has since out this theme folder we don't need to link it because it's gonna find it anyway. So now let's see how we can uh, apply this thing uh so uh, dynamically so let's create two links at the bottom here uh which is gonna be link one iPad link one and iPad link two. So we have two iPad links. The first iPad link, uh, the text on it will be blue. The second iPad link will be green. Green. <coughs> there is a page event called. Um, there's a page event called pre init event that's where you handle all your um, so if I go inside this we if you want to apply theme dynamically you have to use this if you don't know C sharp just uh, copy just what you I'm doing here and just copy it <laughs> it's called page pre init object sender I'm sure you know what uh, this object sender is now under uh, event tags e so uh, this is it's only if you handle your um, T 
theme application inside the page load event is going to apply because this one comes before the page load events. Uh, I'm sure I've explained the page load events to you and you should know uh, what I'm trying to say. You have to undo this inside this uh, page load, inside this event. So if request the uh, theme that was request, if it's not no, if there's that means if there's a theme request at all, it's not equals to null, right? Then uh, we're going to have a switch statement. A switch statement is uh, a statement that you use to make choices between two or more. I said I was going to do uh, C sharp, but um, I haven't forgotten. I'm still going to do it. So we're going to be requesting a theme. We're going to make any choice here. So there's in the case in case somebody requests a green theme, this one now uh, you can put any words that you know you feel like in here. I mean, but this is the same word that you're going to be using in the link. So if somebody requests the green theme, then we want to use the profile. The reason I want to use the profile of the person uh, user theme. This is another thing that you have to define inside your um so this one will be what would you call it the green theme uh, if somebody requests a green so we want to load a green theme remember we have a green theme I mean so we want to load this so we have to set a breakpoint that means to exit the application and a case of somebody requesting a blue case of uh, blue <coughs> profile you have to use the profile to use load the user theme we have to set this user uh, this theme functionalities inside the um, uh, web.config file so this one we want to load the blue theme uh, I hope I haven't made any mistake and we break break means get out of the uh, application that we've done so when you when it's ex, ex, um, execute this break then it doesn't have to process the next one so what we say now is if there's actually if there's a request for a theme then if some the person requests this green theme then load this so let's go inside our web.config file uh inside the system.web system.web inside the system.web yeah this is the other system web we're looking for um where it says we have to add a profile inside system.web actually let's see if there's a profile already added no there's no profile so inside the system.web let's add a profile the reason why we want to app uh, apply a profile, just like I said before, is because <laughs> if we don't apply a profile, that means if the person leaves the page, then um, another the theme will not be. We want to apply the theme to their profile so that we, when they go from page to page or when they come back to the website next time, then we already know who they are. So we actually. Um, Remember, I said to you, you have to be using the user theme inside our application. So name equals to the the user theme. And if you go back to our um, back, we're using this user theme in here. So um, let's run it and see if we've if we've uh, if there's any errors. I won't be surprised because uh, I can see an error if request then theme okay I didn't close it so I can see where this the, you know the same syntax error so that's I'm wondering what is going on okay so now let's run our application oh before I run my application I forgot that um, uh, this link we have to actually modify them as well so we have to put the href tag 
uh, href tag href no we can't use the uh, hyperlink we have to use the normal 